Hey up youngins, it's Grandpa here with another Gran Turismo Sport video and today we're on a one week race at Willow Springs uh, it's a track which I find to be very boring to look at uh, there's not a lot of scenery at all but thankfully we've got some 350 GTs to make the place look more interesting I have qualified 6th uh, which is no great surprise really for me uh, they take it nice and easy through the first sector because there's always somebody who falls off in this first group of corners as you've just seen now as you know grandpa is a bit old and likes something nice and slow to drive so these cars are absolutely perfect for me and really all we're going to try and do is run our own race and hope everybody else has one massive accident and we win this middle sector here i'm really really not uh, not particularly comfortable with uh, that's why you'll see me seesawing on that steering through there and there goes another one bye bye so we'll get through there uh, as you can see by the, uh, the the timing screen in the bottom right corner we're not particularly fast we're not going to be setting the um, the um, timing screen alight with purples but that's okay you know purples don't always win races uh, and neither do grandpas coming into the final corner somebody else has had a bit of an off which promotes us yet again to second So that's that's five places, uh, four places rather, in in one uh, one lap, which isn't bad. So from here on in, things are only going to uh, go from good to bad, but that's fine. Into the first corner, didn't get that at all right. A little bit of understeer there, looked ugly. But what can you do? The guy up ahead, the German, uh, Gostrix 27, 22. Uh, he's he's way too fast for us. There's no way we're catching him, unless he goes just too fast for himself and throws it into the dust. Look at the timing screen. We're way slower than he is, but unfortunately, the guy behind us is currently the fastest guy on track. So uh, third place is going to catch up to us pretty quickly at this rate. Still, never mind. We'll uh, we'll defend if we need to. But it might be quicker to just let the guy go past and you know see if it carries along that is until we uh, go a little bit too fast around there and that is really going to open the door for everybody to just mob us now as they do it gets a bit rough as we go three wide we're in there somewhere under all that dust now Yokno was not the guy i was expecting to come past since uh, guillo 442 was the guy we were worried about and look, everybody's passing us. That's what happens when you just push a little bit too hard. We keep our footing on that last corner, salvage fourth. My rule is, if I finish equal to or greater than the place I actually qualified in, then I'm happy. So uh, if I can finish in this position, I'll be happy still. Through that first corner, I'm pretty sure there's not a single person on the planet who knows the actual line through there. Managed to keep it in one piece. Run a little bit wide on this corner here, which uh, allows Jokno to get back up right behind us. So he's going to be an issue, or she, or they. As you can see in the bottom left corner, they're really harrying us right now. And this is into the part of the track that I'm really not comfortable with. It's just this corner, I, I can never get this one corner right. I don't know why, there's there's no magic to it or anything. It's it, There's a, a corner very similar into Lagos that I don't struggle with. But you know, that's that. The guy ahead goes off, uh, looks like our old friend Willow. And that allows us to get right up on the back of him. So we're getting racy now. Start holding people, people back in. If I start driving defensively now, I'm going to lose these guys at the front. So I'm just going to run my own race, and if Yokno wants to go, then Yokno can have a go. Into the last corner, and Yokno is right with us, as is the guy behind Yokno. So it's uh, it's looking very precarious. We don't want to put in a wheel wrong, and it is easy to put a wheel wrong at this point just here, when the car's unsettled, as you saw just there in the bottom left corner. Into the first corner, no Banzai Heroics, but Guilo 
really did break early there and it uh, it put me right off and even though it broke early he still went off never mind these things happen my line's all wrongs with these corners now that's okay on to this bit here uh, I was starting to feel like do I go defensive don't I go defensive in the end I, I thought against it but again my, my line was off because I was unsure as to what I was doing around this sequence this is where we hope somebody's going to fall off because this is where people are going to lose a lot of time just by putting one wheel wrong uh, back end steps out on me and we get absolutely munched by Jokno, the German who has been threatening us pretty much most of the race so th I think that was that was earned I've certainly got no issue with that at all but uh, as you can see we've got another driver right up our backside now and we're in real danger of going down to sixth which is where we started uh, I'd rather not be down there you know I'd like to be up by the end of the race if possible there's just one lap left can we make it happen foot down head down trying to get overtake on this straight it was uh, certainly a real possibility for a moment there we're 1.4 seconds down of our fastest lap so uh, things were really not working out I feel at this moment like I can catch Yok now if I can just just keep my head as you can see he's very wide through there so he'll get a better run on this straight but we'll uh, we'll gain a bit of ground on the corner itself Jokner's back end steps out there uh, allows us to shave a couple more tenths off in this pursuit but again I'm just caught out by that corner it's it's just me I'm just too old up ahead Guilo bins it. Bye Guilo. And this actually promotes us to fourth, uh, which is, I mean, it's handy. I'd like to be fourth rather than fifth, but I'd like to earn it. So I just tell myself I earned it by keeping up. Into the last corner, Yokno's really uh, showing no signs of slowing down. I don't think we're going to catch up at this rate. All we can hope for is an accident on the last corner and it doesn't come and we haven't carried enough speed to actually catch up never mind it's all good it's fine that position will do me just fine thank you very much for watching this race this uh, race to fourth and i hope to see you again like if you like subscribe if you like don't if you don't